Interesting times in the Forza Motorsport world this week, we have our first set of leaks since the game's release, which shows us a potential 19 new upcoming DLC cars, some of which are insane. Some of these cars I never thought I'd see in a racing game, let alone Forza. We're going to talk about all that, but real quickly, some other Forza Motorsport related news that you might be interested in. It's all Forza Motorsport. The Western Digital Expansion card thing that you can get to increase your storage. Um, if you purchase one of them, it will now come with the race day car pack for Forza Motorsport. Nothing too serious, but something Forza Motorsport related, so there you go. And Forza Motorsport itself has been nominated for two game awards this year, Best Sports and Racing Game, and also Innovation in Accessibility. Now, I'm not surprised with the accessibility, as I'm sure we're all aware that Forza really tried to go ham with the accessibility to their games. To be honest, it's also to the point where some of their accessibility settings actually cause AFK methods and stuff like that. So sometimes they do go quite far, but I suppose in the accessibility world, that's not a bad thing. So yeah, Forza Motorsport has been nominated for them. Now, onto the leaks, the exciting stuff. Well, if you go onto Steam and have a look at the other apps that are referenced towards that app, so Forza Motorsport, the other related apps, you will see that as of yesterday, there are now a ton of listed cars that are marked as DLCs or apps or add-ons for that game. This is the most credible type of leak that we could possibly get, as it's not just names found in the files that might not turn out to be real. It's on Steam, listed as DLCs, unreleased, it's extremely credible. So let's quickly go through what cars are on the list and then break down when they're coming because we might actually have dates as well for these cars. We've got the 2018 Mercedes AMG GT3 and the 2018 Peugeot DG Sport Competition 308. These two cars are already in the game as part of the car pass this month. So you can ignore these two, it's the ones after this that are not in the game yet. Now, I will say that all of these are suspected to be car pass cars. We've got the 2018 Chevrolet Racing TA Corvette. We've got the 1985 Buick Performance Motorsport Somerset Regal Trans AM. I'm sorry for my pronunciations for some of these. We've got the 2021 Cadillac Wellen Racing DPI VR. The 2018 63 Squadra Course Hurricane Super Trofeo Evo, that was one of the car pack cars in Horizon 5 a few months ago. The 1983 Porsche 11 John Fitzpatrick Racing 956. The 2019 McLaren Senna GTR, I'm looking forward to that. The 2019 Ferrari Rizzi Competizione 488 GTE. The 2022 Aston Martin Valkyrie AMR Pro. The 1966 Lotus Type 35. This one confused me a little bit as I thought that was already in the game, but I think it is slightly different to the one that is. 2015 Cadillac Racing ATS VR. The 2018 Ford Breathless Pro Racing TA Mustang. 2020 Audi TT RS Coupe. And my favourite one of them all, the 2022 McMurtry Spearling. I, again, I don't know how to pronounce that. The 2019 Toyota 86 TRD SE, 2020 Lexus Vassa Sullivan RC GT3, 1986 Lotus Team Lotus 98T and the 2018 Cadillac CTS V. Now, some of them cars are mental. Make sure to subscribe if you're finding this video helpful, guys. We're going to cover all Forza Motorsport leaks, news, everything you'll want to know, along with Horizon 5 as well. But if we have a look at the Steam listing, now if you want to view this yourself, you can just go to this link here on any browser and it'll take you straight to this screen. Scroll down and you'll see all of these cars for yourself. Now you'll see that some of them have a little Steam icon next to them. These are the ones that are already in the game, as we can see with the 720S GT three McLaren car at the top that's already in the game that's why it's got that little icon so we're focusing on the ones that don't have an icon that aren't in the game now over on GT planet nuclear bomb props to him actually listed these in app ID order I think which will suspectively tell us the order in which that these will be released obviously it starts with the Mercedes AMG GT3 and the Persia which are the car pass cars for this week and then everything after that if they are in order, if they are all car pass cars, week by week, this is the dates and the list that when we should receive each one of these cars. Now this is just, we're just guessing here, but if Nuclear Bomb is right and they are in order and they are all car pass cars, this is when they will come. 
don't take this seriously, this is just me guessing. He did say in his comment that the Valkyrie will be a free car, but I didn't see anything on the listing that showed that, so I'm not sure where he's getting that idea from. If you're watching this, Nuclear Bob, comment why and I'll pin it. Nevertheless, these cars are suspectively all coming to Forza Motorsport at some point in the future. And the one I want to quickly touch on is this one here. If you don't know anything about this car, it is insane. It broke the Goodwood Festival of Speed world record. Again, if you don't know what that is, just Google it. And the specs of this car are crazy. It's got thousands horsepower. It weighs under a thousand kilograms. So the horsepower to weight ratio... The power to weight ratio is going to be insane. 0 to 145 in less than five seconds. It's a crazy car. And a bit of information about it. It is actually sort of a fan car. It's got two twin electric turbines buried behind the cockpit that sucks air from beneath the chassis and blasts it out the central rear exhaust. Uh, two, uh, 120 decibels, so it's quite loud as well. <laughs> I can imagine this does sound like a jet fighter, like it says here. So that's one hell of a car to add to Forza Motorsport, and I'm quite interested at how it's going to work because I can't imagine there are any other cars in Forza Motorsport that have the same physics that this car will have. If they are all car pack cars and they are in order, we can expect to see this on March the 7th. But with Nuclear Bomb saying the Valkyrie is free, that kind of messes up this whole list. But we can say for pretty damn sure that that car will be coming to the game eventually. Now, in Nuclear Bomb's post, he mentioned that he's curious about the Genettas that Motorsport had scanned for their game. Now, this prompted me to look into this, and I found this post here on Reddit by Apple Slipper. He posted some photos of when Turn 10 Studios, who make Forza Motorsport, were laser scanning the entire Genetta lineup at their factory. Now, this is months ago. This is old news now, but I've never talked about it, and I think it's kind of relevant. If this is true, if Turn 10 Studios did go to the Genetta lineup, the uh, Genetta factory, and scan the lineup, which means essentially every car that Ginetta do that was available at the factory, we could be seeing a lot of Ginetta cars come to the game at some point in the future. As he says, we have the LMP1 car, but none of the other ones, so we could potentially be seeing Ginettas added as well. I'm not going to add them to the leaked car list, which I have now created one for Forza Motorsport. We have one of these for Horizon. I'm going to make it for Forza Motorsport now. A list that we can follow and keep track of for the future. So at the time being, we have all of these and we can mark these two as green since they have come this month. I will add Ginettas to this list as well, but not every individual one because then the list will just be a bit complicated then. So that's all we've got for today, guys. I can't really guarantee that these cars will appear in the game, but the fact that they have appeared on this Steam list makes it extremely credible, more credible than most of the leaks we talk about on this channel. So we could probably see them at some point, presumably in the car pass. Pop it down in the comment section below which ones you're hoping are going to come first and what your favourite is. I'd love to know. Leave a like if you've enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you all later, baby.